Hello, my name is Brenda Hayward. This video is called Seven Buyers Tips Not to Say to a Real Estate Agent. Buyers, are you excited because you are now moving forward to accomplish one of your goals? And that goal is to buy a home. My video will include one, I can get approved for a home at a later date. Two, I have a realtor. However, can you show me the house? And number three, I don't want to sign up with an agent. Number one, I can get pre-approved for a home at a later date. Buyers, saying these words puts the real estate agent at a disadvantage. If you don't have time to enable the real estate agent to know if you as a buyer have the funding to even purchase a home, limits their ability to even work with you as a customer. The real estate agent is now making a decision on what category to put you in. Will you be a customer or a client? If this is said, you will become a customer and not a client. As a customer, you may get a few of the your questions answered. However, you will not be able to give it a tour of any homes. Listing and buyer agents consider a pre-approval letter has given them the knowledge that you will be able to complete the purchase transaction for a home and they will have the ability to get paid for their services. Number two, I have a realtor. However, can you show me the house? Buyers, by bypassing your current real estate agent is not a good way to move forward. Your agent gets paid by showing you homes and they are your representative when questions arise. The seller's agent does not get paid for performing this service. However, the seller's agent will ask you to call your agent and set up an appointment to review the home. If you already signed up with a real estate agent, both you and they have agreed that showing any homes will be one of the services they will perform. This also makes it look like your agent didn't explain the real estate process to you. When you signed your real estate broker's agreement with them to, their, to be their client, please call your agent. The seller's agent will not perform these duties. Number three, I don't want to sign up with an agent. Buyers or real estate agents are a small business and if they perform services, they hope to get paid for those services performed. There is definitely a difference between a customer and a client. A customer gets some of their questions answers. However, a client talks and communicates with the real estate agent and explains the services that can assist the buyer in purchasing a new home. The agent then becomes a loyal representative of the buyer. If you have a requirement for a home, you are requesting to review. The agent can utilize their time, energy, money, and resources to assist in finding a home that might enable you to move your family into. If you become unhappy with the way the real estate agent is assisting you, you can cancel your agreement with them. Then you are able to find another agent to assist you in your future home search. Getting finance approval is the first stepping stone that needs to be completed prior to doing a walkthrough of any home. Buyers, the real estate agent see financial approval as your ability to purchase. Real estate agents' time is expensive, so let them know your limits through a pre-approval level on what homes they can present to you to review and move forward with buying with a buying transaction and investing in a new home. Just a little about me. I'm a person who enjoys food. However, cherry cheesecake is one of my favorite foods. Just to let you know, I am not a real estate agent, accounting, or lawyer. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking a thumbs up
subscribing or leaving a comment below. Some of the areas I will cover are worrying about the appearance of the property, waiting too long to make a decision, ignoring the seller's request, and communicating with the listing agent on your own. Number four, worrying about the appearance of the property. Buyers, remember, you are able to make changes that fit your color palette. Don't get caught up on the little things like outdated appliances and small repairs that are required. Please stop and don't run. Real estate comes in many forms. Please look at the things you are searching for, like the three bedrooms, the two paths, large kitchen, and maybe no porch. If the real estate agent shows you these properties, they must be in your, within your requested price range to purchase. When you walk through the house, your focus should be on whether, how you will utilize the space and make it livable for you and your family. Nothing will be up to your standards. You must make the living spaces what you want once the property is yours. Buyers, all home prices are negotiable. Number five, waiting too long to make a decision. Buyers, the realtors have shown you many places. It's time to make a decision. The real estate agent is there to answer all your questions. Some of the homes you have seen decorated, you can't understand why the owners made their decision. However, it is up to you to make a decision on whether you can utilize the property to fit your family's current needs. Just to let you know, when you wait too long in a seller's market to make an offer, the place you thought about putting an offer in on might get another offer. Then you are in a place where you have to start your search all over. You must maintain communications between you and your real estate agent if there's a property you like and trying to make a decision on. It is the real estate agent job to find out if the property is still available and let you know if there is an interest in buyers looking at the same property. Buyers, you must be willing to negotiate on the terms of your offer. Communication with the real estate agent can help supply the answers to the questions you may have. Number six, ignoring the seller's request. Buyers, shopping for real estate is a little different than shopping for a product from a store. The sellers have the most control. The sellers must choose the contract offer that fits their needs in order for the deal to move forward and close. Sellers are motivated by the reasons for selling and to whom they want to sell the property. Your real estate agent gathers information on the seller, which will allow you to make a good contract offer where the seller will choose your offer. If you ignore the things the sellers are requesting or seeking, Within your contract offer, this will hurt your chances to get them signing off on your contract. Last but not least, number seven, communicating with a listing agent on your own. Buyers, this is not what you want to do. Please utilize your real estate agent to communicate with them. You may think you're just being friendly, but communication between the buyer and seller agent is not allowed. Your real estate agent has the training and knowledge to get the information you are seeking. Please utilize your agent to get questions answered. Remember, communications help move real estate deals forward. And knowledge is power because your real estate agent is aware that the property is important to you and you want to move forward with the contract process there job is to communicate with the other team to ensure what they are requesting you are knowledgeable of and they can give you a chance to make a decision on what the sellers are seeking is what you are willing 
to give them to close the deal. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking a thumbs up, subscribing, or leaving comments below. My name is Brenda Hayward, and thanks for your time.